just my time. Oh, now. Don't you be afraid, sweetheart. Death is just a part of life. Something we're all destined to do. I didn't know it, but I was destined to be your mama. I did the best I could. You did good, Mom. Well, I happen to believe you make your own destiny. You have to do the best with what God gave you. What's my destiny, Mom? You're gonna have to figure that out for yourself. Life is a box of chocolates for us. You never know what you're gonna get. Mama always had a way of explaining things so I could understand them. I will miss you, Forrest. All right, so right there, the, the amazing scene right there with Sally Field and Tom Hanks. His mama says, life is a box of chocolates. Now, I'm, I'm going to try to contain myself because I'm so angry right now. I'm so frustrated. Um, this Mandela effect and the deception that's taking place and that there's many that think we're all crazy. They just straight think we're stone cold crazy. And we're not crazy. We know the truth. And praise be to God, I found, I found some evidence. I found some truth. And I'll play that next. I'll be quiet and let it play out. Uh, till the end and uh, well let's just go take a look and see so we can see the evidence that look his mom actually said life is right like a chocolate oh thank you I found the book for us 1985 and I fell in love with it I read the first line and the first line of the book is being an idiot ain't no box of chocolates my mom always said that life is like a box of chocolates Wait a minute, so did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? You know, you know, maybe, maybe I'm mistaken. Because that's the scene right there, right here, that myself along with millions of others heard and remember. Right here. Let's play that again. We're going to play this a couple times. Let's do it. Life is like a box of chocolate. Said that life is like a box of chocolate. My mom always said that life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. So right there, y'all, I'm done. It's just, it's, it's, it, it angers me, it's too much. This is proof and evidence right here, right now, that something's going on. Millions upon millions of us remember seeing Forrest Gump and the iconic line Life is like a box of chocolates, but yet it's as though our reality got flipped upside down. But you know, praise be to God, he allowed me to be able to find this evidence, this proof, and provide it to the world to see. So please, share this video, make your own videos, and let's get the word out about the truth behind the Mandela Effect. I come to you today to bring my experience and experience from a man that's been a man of the cloth for 40 some years and all of his life has been a believer and a reader of the Bible. 81 year old man, my neighbor down the street. I went out and I asked him a direct question. I says, James, please tell me what the Bible says. Is it the lion lies with the lamb? He said, yes. I said, have they changed the Bible? He said, yes. I said, is it the wineskin that will burst, the old wineskin? He said, yes. I said, is the Bible saying now the bottle? He said, yes. I said, is it a couple lying in bed, one will be taken, one will be removed? He said, that's the right way. I said, why is it saying two men lie in the bed together? He said, that's not right. He says, Revelations, at the end of Revelations, it states, do not change or alter one word of this Bible or you will be removed 
from the Book of Life. They're doing it, friends. He's a testament to it. This is a warning. The time we're in. He spoke that he never trusted Obama, and he fears Trump. The times worse are coming. Those of you out there that are denying this, I don't know what's wrong with you. Honestly, I don't. You need to go seek out someone older than you and more wiser, as I did. Someone that knows the Bible, truly knows the Bible. It's been changed. It has literally been changed. I asked him, do you think it's possible that they changed the Bible in your house that hasn't been open for years? He said, yes. He said, they have the ability. He said, this is the time we're in. This is the time we're in. So take heed, my friends. Only believe in the Lord, Jesus Christ is your Savior. For what is about to come upon this earth is going to be devastating. And this is just an example. So those out there that want to hack me and jack me, you go out there and get you some proof before you question this old man. Because this old man went to an older, older man that has a lot more wisdom on what the subject is. And he testified in front of me. Yes, they have altered the Bible because he knows what the Bible says and it's been changed. And he knows it's through magic and through whatever possession, possession of Satan is doing to us right now. So you take heed. Uh, I want you to do your own research because I don't really have enough time to talk about the Mandela effect per se. I want to get into the, the, the reason why I am speaking about it. And it's because um, it's crossed over into what my mission is. My mission is to teach about God and and that the Lord is coming soon. But now, so now the Mandela effect has reached over and, and tapped into um, my realm of teaching, what I have to speak about. And it, in other words, it has tapped into the gospel or the Bible itself. That's... Uh, go over to Daniel and this is not a change that I recognize anyways but this is what Daniel says in 7 uh, chapter 7 25 he shall speak Poppins words against the Most High shall persecute the Saints of the Most High and shall intend to change times and the law okay change times and the law then the saints shall be given into the hand, into his hand, for a time and times and half a time. So, the enemy is doing this right now. Changing times. Now let me go to um, what this means to us as uh, believers in Christ. This is a passage from uh, Luke chapter 17, okay, and verse 34. I tell you, in that night there will be two men in one bed, and one will be taken and the other will be left. Two women will be grinding together. One will be taken and the other left. Two men will be in the field. The one will be taken and the other left. Okay, so there's so many things wrong with this. First of all, they're implying that th this is a, a gay um, situation where two men are sleeping together in one bed. Um, the old literature before they they have changed this and I know this this has been changed it was the couple will be in bed and one will be taking and the other left and it says here the two men will be in the field and the other one will be taken it was two women will be in the field and one will be taken so I don't remember two men being in the field I remember two women. 
Okay, so this is a drastic change and like I said, it's pushing the gay narrative, okay? But here is the one that, that eludes all uh, disturbances of this gospel. This comes from Luke 19 and it's verse 27. But bring here those enemies of mine who did not want me to reign over them and slay them before me. Slay them before me? Is this the same Jesus that says, turn the other cheek? Um, it doesn't make sense that he would command some to slay him. And he's never ever said anything about slay. Slay is murder and kill. That, that's not the Lord. Jesus that I know. Okay, those readings were taken from the um, New King James Version. I want to go to the King James Version, which is the most um, noted and reliable book of the uh, gospel that we have as Christians. That that um, is is not um, well is most used to be honest to. To speak the truth of the gospel. Okay, here in Matthew uh, chapter 9, verse 17. Neither do men put new wine into old bottles, else the bottles break. Neither do men put new wine into old bottles, else the bottles break. And the wine runneth out. And the bottles perish, but they put new wine into new bottles, and both are preserved. Are you kidding me? No, no, none of that makes sense. Okay, new wine in new bottles. <laughs> um, th this is what it. Re okay, I'm going to even read from the New King James Version. And it's, it hasn't been changed yet in this book, so listen to what it really says. It's, it says, Nor do they put new wine into old wineskin, or else the wineskins break. The wine is spilled, and the wineskin is ruined. But they put new wine into new wineskin, and both are preserved. Wine skin is what they used back in the day. So these changes are significant because it's 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 changing by just it could even just add one word, flip a word from um, not to do, and and the whole meaning is completely changed and reversed. They added the word slay, where Jesus never ever told anybody to slay. It takes, it gives a complete um, um, mind shift about who Jesus was and what he did for us before he, to show us the way, the truth, and the light, and the mercy of God. So, uh, this disturbs me on every level. Um, because it almost show, it nearly shows that we are in the last days, and um, who is who is the elect of God has nearly all all been set. I'm sure that the Holy Spirit can um, um, get into the hearts of men and and speak the truth into the hearts of men. But the, 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 the truth of the gospel should already be written there from the understanding of these changes. This saddens me greatly. I hope you can understand that. In Jesus' name, I hope you can understand that.